The identity of Erste Foundation has become a very, very strong picture with different ingredients. And you have to understand those ingredients in order to understand why we work uh, as we work and why we do what we do. We are the biggest shareholder of Erste Group and of course we protect these shares. We fill them with lots of purpose which comes out of the history of Erste Foundation, of the legacy of this Erste idea, which was founded in the beginning of the 19th century as a social initiative. So, Mädels. Das war das erste Stück der Reise und wir werden sie dann in Wien wiedersehen. Also, fertig. We want to improve people's lives. And this is basically what we are working on every day. We understand the quality of the arts, right, to open up a space of freedom and to change, you know, the perception of people on themselves. We work together with the local people in the communities who drive change there and we support them. We use the tools, the instruments, the quality of the bank, which is already in place, and to give back kind of the social impact they can have. We are a charitable foundation, so we use the private-owned money and we reinvest it into the societies uh, in which Erste Group does its business. Now, what does that mean? When the tipping point comes, we will sense it. You won't oversleep that. Come on, one minute to go. We should not start with the assumption that majority is on our side. We have to understand how we can use this special combination of knowledges we collect from the financial field and from the civic society field, put them into a, I would call it like a productive process. Wait, so I have not a problem with long processes. Yes, it works. And you know, ideas don't come from conferences. Boris, it's really good to see you. Ideas come from circumstances, contexts people, special friendships, relationships. Email is here! Yeah. It needs kind of a broad network of civic society institutions who help us in doing this, who help us to define the problems uh, and get the use cases right. And it would be very inspiring if all these people can get together and create a community. If you bring together a developer and a social worker, they will have a hard time. But to bring people from different civic backgrounds, civil society institutions, foundation, company, and developers in the Silent Table, that's really tough. Scrum, design thinking, nahe an den Klienten reingehen. Actually, the foundation has changed a lot in these last 14 years. I think we are facing again a moment. Our reality might change as it did with 89 and 68. We are facing now very serious challenges, and these are now global challenges. And I travel to Paris tonight and I'll knock at the door of the Elysee and I'll deliver the message from this forum. We need new inputs, new coalitions, new initiatives. The Erste Foundation is an institution who not only in its charitable way supports civic society or funds projects, but we are interested in opening up spaces and environments which together with the institutions we fund can add an additional value in creating ideas and solutions for the societies and for the people who work for. Many of the peoples of the former Yugoslavia really were a kind of a kind of family, but you could make a metaphor of a family of, of, of love and hate. For most of my life, I've been thinking about how do we expand the realm of democracy, and then all of a sudden, 2016 happened. We set up a series of fellowships to work on topics which are relevant for the brilliant future of Europe and the world. There are no magic wands, there, there is no silver bullet. It is a painstaking daily approach that the foundation like this is determined to take to help resolve the issues. The skill and the talent and the art of Erste Foundation is exactly to create those productive environments where these people can sit down, talk to each other and come up with something which is really great. 
you know, there is so much space uh, that fits with our purpose on where we can be active that we do not have any problem for the next 200 years to define our work. There is plenty enough to be done. This is going to be locker, right? You have to have a little bit of a little bit. It's faster, it's faster. It's like a little bit of a little bit. We have institutions out there which were created exactly in this way and they all still exist. Yeah, elegant. Yeah, yeah, that's it. The second is a fully eigenständige bank. If somebody would tell you, found a bank for the poor, a completely new bank, people probably think you're crazy, right? No, you cannot do that. We did it. That was a starting point to say we need to do something to make sure that these works will be accessible to the public and will be part of a new European history. We did it. It's here. It rewrites European art history of the last 40, 50, 60 years. Can you build a multimedia environment for people to learn about finance, about their economical life, about global economy in a way that they have the feeling it touches their own lives. No matter if we created a fintech lab out of the foundation, if we created a bank, if we created a fantastic art collection, or if we created the NGO Academy, we use the hard-earned money of a huge organization to convert it into solutions. So creating ideas, making them sustainable, and changing people's lives for the better. This is the core value of the Esther Foundation. Yes. 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 Yes.